Hello, would you want to discover some fun facts about the Shih Tzu breed? In this doggy footprints video, I'll tell you if this is the best option for you and your family. I hope all of you dog owners and would-be dog owners enjoy this video and learn something new in the process. Before we begin, make sure to click the subscribe button and the notification bell to be alerted whenever we add new videos. Make sure to check out our channel. We will upload new content weekly about dogs. Let's begin. History. Exploring the Shih Tzu's past is like taking a crash course in East Asian history. The Shih Tzu Club claims that this breed has been around for at least 1,000 years, with records of, under the table, dogs appearing in China as early as 8,000 BC. It's said they were produced in Tibet, maybe by Tibetan monks, and the little canines were sent to Chinese emperors as gifts. The Chinese are said to have mated them with Pekingese, Pugs, or Lhasa Apsos to create the Shih Tzu we know today. Other stories about the royal lineage of Shih Tzus persist. According to legend, Marco Polo found in the 13th century that Mongolian Emperor Kublai Khan kept little, lion, dogs, thought to be Shih Tzus, alongside trained hunting lions to keep them quiet. It's worth mentioning that the Pekingese is also known as the lion dog in Chinese. There are also reports of the Chinese royal family owning Shih Tzu-like dogs during the Ming Dynasty in 1368-1644. Appearance the Shih Tzu is a strong toy breed that can weigh anywhere from 9 to 16 pounds. They are well renowned for their long, silky, sumptuous double coat, which comes in 14 various hues and three distinct markings, including black, black and white, gray and white, and red and white. Most Shih Tzus have a little white mark on their foreheads known as the Star of Buddha, which is highly valued. Shih Tzus have distinct grains due to their undershot bite. The lower jaw of a Shih Tzu is somewhat broader than the upper jaw, Thus when their mouth is closed, their top teeth bite within the lower teeth. And the hair on their faces grows in all directions, including up from their nose, and must be maintained often to keep it from falling in front of their eyes. Shih Tzus are quite proud of their royal heritage, Chinese aristocracy retained these dogs as companions, and they carry themselves with tremendous dignity. Some claim their walk is even haughty, with the head lifted high and the tail curled over the back. Personality Whatever you do, a Shih Tzu is eager to accompany you. He's up for everything and isn't picky. He's not overly sensitive, though, and would make an excellent elderly companion. If you're doing anything monotonous, like cleaning the refrigerator, he'll stand there and observe in unison. He'll watch TV if you're watching it. If you're up for some fun, the Shih Tzu is as well. If you're exhausted, he'll fall asleep alongside you. He doesn't mind what you do as long as it's with him. He can be busy himself if he is given toys to play with and doesn't mind if you work all day as long as you return home to him and give him some love. Shih Tzus are fond of both dogs and children. They like having play dates and may make excellent therapy dogs. Some people enjoy cats, while others don't. It appears to be a personal taste rather than a breed feature. He's amusing and, on occasion, naughty. He's going to take your sneakers. He may want you to pursue him after he has stolen them. On the other hand, if he truly desires them, he may bury them. He's not beyond stealing other dogs' toys. Toy breeds are prone to becoming fussy eaters, however this is sometimes accidentally caused by humans. Allow your Shih Tzu to get away with it. Instead of lunging for your cheesecake, give him some time to adjust to what he's meant to eat. Still, the ever plucky and sweet Shih Tzu is not only a lively and playful companion, but a mild lapdog as well. It loves to romp and play, delighting everyone with its cheerful attitude, and at the end of the day it is happy to relax with the family, serene and at peace in its little world. Living Needs Shih Tzus are affectionate and appealing to all family members. If properly educated, they are very friendly and gentle with youngsters. As with any breed, socialize your Shih Tzu and make sure your children understand how to manage these little dogs so they may have a good connection. Children must be careful not to carry her around or poke her large eyes. Shih Tzus get along well with cats and other dogs. Shih Tzus are perfect for apartment dwellers or other residences with little outside space because they were raised to spend the day within the walls of a palace. Shih Tzus are content wherever as long as they can be near their owner. Shih Tzus are sensitive to heat stroke because of their luxuriant coat and flat facial shape, so make sure you have a spot for them to cool off as temps rise. They enjoy the wind of a fan and surely welcome air conditioning. Shih Tzu coats also prevent them from being strong swimmers, so don't expect them to go into water to cool off. The Shih Tzu tends to require a large amount of personal attention each day. They thrive on human company and can easily become spoiled. 
they enjoy training and learning tricks, making them the center of attention. Shih Tzu should be socialized to children early on, but they enjoy people of all ages. Do not count on your Shih Tzu to guard the house, he would probably welcome a burglar with open paws. Exercise needs. The Shih Tzu has a moderate amount of activity and requires regular exercise. Daily walks and enjoyable activities such as games can help to keep your Shih Tzu intellectually and physically occupied. They adjust well to apartment life as long as they have ample time for vigorous play. Shih Tzus, on the other hand, do not perform well in extremely hot situations or weather due to their flat faces and proclivity for heat exhaustion. Shih Tzus will also enjoy a good game of fetch, tug of war, or chase, which can be played inside or outdoors. Exercise not only helps Shih Tzus stay in shape, but it can also fend off boredom, anxiety, and frustration, which can lead to unwanted behaviors and chewed up shoes. Grooming. The Shih Tzu's coat develops continually with very little shedding, leading many people to believe that they are a hypoallergenic dog breed. The loose hairs are more likely to be maintained in the coat rather than the air, however, be careful that allergens stay in dander and saliva, so some will still be present in the dog's surroundings. If you're allergic to dogs, it's a good idea to spend some time with a Shih Tzu before committing to one. Many owners choose to keep their dog's hair cropped short, giving it a curled and fluffy appearance. Others want a lengthy and luxuriant coat. When their facial hair isn't clipped, it might hurt their eyes, which is why some Shih Tzus wear a topknot or a bow. The dog's nails should be cut around once a month, and you should assist your dog maintain good dental hygiene by cleaning its teeth on a regular basis. Trainability Training and socializing are essential for keeping your Shih Tzu happy and well-adjusted. Don't skip these steps because your Shih Tzu is a little dog. The breed is reasonably intelligent, but it also has a stubborn tendency. Shih Tzus may be tough to housebreak, so you should start training your dog at an early age. They may also be trained to use a litter box inside. However, bear in mind that they consume their own, and other dogs, excrement, so keep your dog's area clean. This breed gets along well with other friendly dogs and cats in a multi-pet family, especially if they are reared together. Shih Tzus get along well with kids as long as they are old enough to handle a dog gently and properly. As a little dog, the Shih Tzu is vulnerable to injury from physical play. Shih Tzus, for all their endearing qualities, are notoriously difficult to housebreak. It might be hard for humans to understand their, what's in it for me? attitude toward toileting, but dogs are different than people, and this breed needs to be enticed to good behavior. When you approach training, stay positive at the very least, and consider making things a bit more rewarding with treats, affection, or extra playtime whenever your puppy uses the right spot. Do not punish your Shih Tzu for toileting mistakes. As soon as they start feeling like the training is no fun, they'll do their best to ignore it. Health. These puppies are typically healthy, but like with any breed, there are certain common health issues to be aware of. Ear infections, hip dysplasia, patellar luxation, a sliding kneecap, umbilical hernias, and a portosystemic liver shunt are among issues that Shih Tzus may face, a congenital abnormality in which blood vessels allow blood to bypass the liver. But don't worry, all of these problems are curable. A Shih Tzu may not shed her baby teeth before her permanent teeth appear, necessitating a trip to the veterinarian for extraction. Due to the breed's undershot jaw, they may have missing or misplaced teeth. As she teeths, a Shih Tzu puppy may make a lot of snuffles, snorts, and noisy snoring. As she ages, she may develop reverse sneezing, a wheezing sound created when she is very enthusiastic, gulp her food too rapidly, or come into contact with an allergy. Cataracts, progressive retinal atrophy, retinal detachment, and corneal dryness can all cause problems for her large eyes. Excessive air exposure, as a result of inadequately shutting eyelids, can potentially cause ocular inflammation. If you discover any problems with your Shih Tzu's eyes, contact your veterinarian straight away. Children and other pets. The Shih Tzu is an excellent family pet. They get along well with other dogs or animals, and their calm demeanor makes them an excellent companion for youngsters. However, when playing with a Shih Tzu puppy, children should sit on the floor to avoid carrying and dropping them. Children should also learn to keep their fingers away from the Shih Tzu's large, potentially harmed eyes. Shih Tzus have been bred for decades not just for their lovely silky coats, but also for their exceptional companionship.
So, what are your thoughts on the Shih Tzu breed? Let us know in the comments, and please share your experience with other dog owners who are interested. And if you found his video helpful, it would be great if you subscribe to our channel, so you don't miss new videos and learn more about dogs every day. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch. We'll see you again soon.